see Kid Roxon is really riding aggressive right now, driving through those jumps on the rhythm, rhythm section. Look at this inside line. I still can't believe it finally happened. Never give up. Zach Osborne on that number 16. Can he hold him off? Oh, no, he can't. Down goes Osborne. He makes a big mistake. Topples over, and now Tomac looking to get around Roxon. And these two title combatants part of Arthur, that long, nasty whoop section. And the battle for the lead starting to heat up once again. Tomac has reeled in Ken Roxon. He's been able to make up times in those areas. Oh, really outside? No, nope, not there, says Ken Roxon. Yeah, this is fun. Let's see, he's gonna go inside of Ken Roxon right here. Tries to close in again, but Roxon with that high line able to carry more speed through the sand. But in the end, the checkers go to Ken Roxon. He will win main event number one. Here he comes, final quarter. And he will go two for two at the Triple Crown in Glendale. He's been envisioning that number one plate through all those workouts, all those laps. And he's going to get another step closer to it here tonight. He's number one all the way across the board. Ken Roxon clean sweeps the Triple Crown in Glendale. No doubt about it, Ken Roxon is back and ready to contend for this title. In my mind, this is who everyone needs to be focusing to beat. If not, he's gonna set sail with this championship. Roxanne powers out of the corner with the lead. Right on his tail, almost side by side, is Tomac, who grabs the lead away. The Kawasaki rider into the front of the field. Ah, that was with authority. He wants to show Ken Roxanne that, hey, you got lucky last weekend. I'm here and you're not doing to me what happened in Glendale, but check this out. Roxon battles back as he dived into the sand and he's back to the front of the field. Look at Baggett coming on strong. Top three. Oh, a oh, oh, oh. back with a problem as he stalls the bike and Baggett goes to second. And that's going to be the gap that Roxon's going to need. Checkered ball. Roxon wins 450 heat number one. And now we can see it. Here he comes. He race win number six in 2020. A good start, so important, and Roxon's gonna have it. is now tied with Tomac and they will share the red plate in Daytona. Get even more Supercross action with NBC Sports Gold. You're going to get everything from race day live to every qualifier and race. It's all live, it's commercial free, and it's on demand. So head to NBCSports.com slash Supercross Pass to get yours now.